In this tutorial, you'll create a simple Swift UI application that shows a list of iOS conferences. The application will consist of two views. A list of conferences representing data from a local JSON file. Details for each conference. Let's first create a new project from the Welcome screen. We need to set up an interactive preview for Swift UI interfaces. We will use the Injection application, which you can download from the App Store or GitHub. Download the latest Injection release, place it in the Applications folder, and start the application. Its icon will appear in the status bar. Select the project directory in Finder. Once the directory is selected, Injection starts watching changes in this directory, and we are ready to start writing the code. Add Xlinker interposable flags in the Other Linker Flag section in Project Settings. Override the init method in tutorialapp.swift and add the code that loads the injection bundle. Now we need to modify the content view preview structure to be able to see the preview using injection. We should convert it to a class and add the injected method, where we set the application root view controller to the UI hosting controller with our content view inside. This method is called when injection reloads the view. Now we're ready to run our application. Press Ctrl R. Let's change the content view and add another text element. As you can see, changes are immediately visible in the simulator window. Now we'll make the application window display a list. Rename the content view class to conference list and the content view previews class to conference list previews. Rebuild the project using command F9. Wrap text elements into the list. As you can see, the preview is reloaded and the list we've just created is shown. Here, we can create a live template to surround our Swift UI code constructs faster. Select the list element using the Expand Selection shortcut, press Shift Command A, and type Save as Live Template. Enter the abbreviation and set the closure body to the selection variable. This variable is predefined and holds the range selected in the app code editor. Replace the list declaration with the element live template variable. Finally, rename the Live Template group to Swift UI. To surround the selected code construct with our new template, we can now press Command Option T and press the S key to select our template by name. As you can see, the code we selected is automatically surrounded by the Swift UI element. Let's wrap the list to the navigation view and set the list title. After that, we create a list item using the vstat container and have one text element for the conference title and another one for the conference location. To have a real preview of the conference list, we'll make our application load it from a local JSON file. Create a resources group in our project. Download the JSON file from the repository in the video description and save it to the Resources folder. Add the downloaded file to the Resources group in the Project view. Create a model group and add a data file in it. Here we add a load file function that contains the code for parsing the JSON model into an array of decodable objects. Create a conference class and derive it from codable and identifiable protocols. Now we're ready to load the list of conferences into a variable. In the conference list.swift file, pass conferences data to the list initializer. Rerun the project and replace the strings in the text elements with the values from the loaded JSON. The conference list is loaded and displayed in the table view. Let's add a detail view for each conference. In the Project Tool window, press Command N and select File from Xcode Template. Here, you can see the same file templates as in Xcode. Select iOS, User Interface, Swift UI View, and click Next. Enter the class name and click Finish. To have a preview for this view, we will need to add an injected method to the Previews class again. We'll do that and rebuild the project. Now if we change anything in the conference details view, the simulator will display exactly these changes. Instead of the default hello world text, add the conference location. The conference property does not exist yet, but we can easily add it using the create from usage action via option enter. Let's add a conference as a parameter in the conference details previews class and just pass an empty conference here. 
We have another error identifying a non-existent initializer, which we can create using the option enter shortcut. Now we add default values for conference fields. After that, we'll switch to the conference details file and duplicate the text control two times. In app code, we can do this using the command D shortcut. Change the contents of the second text control to conference.textDates and create the textDates method from usage. Here we will add code for converting start and end dates to a human readable format. This method will use a utility function for the date class that we will add to the data class. Rerun the application. Now we can add a utility link button structure that will implement a simple link button that opens a URL on click. Add it to the conference details view with a conference link. As you can see, the new control appears immediately in the preview. Finally, we wrap all the controls in our conference details view into vStack. Let's set up a way to navigate from the conference list to conference details on click. Switch to the conference list.swift file and wrap the list item into the navigation link element. In the constructor, pass the conference details view as a destination. We'll tune them using the live preview and make them look beautiful. Now if we rerun the application, everything works, and we can see the list of conferences and view the details of each conference in a separate view. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for new tutorials on our channel.